Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I am so excited to jump on here quickly. I was supposed to do a podcast uh, today and it got rescheduled and I still wanted to jump on and share my message. So that's what I'm going to do. We just got back from Hawaii and got married. Uh, so we had an incredible time. Uh, it was a vacation of a lifetime. I'm still acclimating to being in the negative five degree weather in Iowa. So <laughs> anyways, I wanted to share today for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jesse Adams and I am known as the transformation fitness expert. I help people who've struggled with weight loss, transform their bodies through mindset and peak performance coaching in order to have the body they've always wanted and to ultimately live the life they only deserve. So today, what I wanted to talk to you about was we have new year's resolutions that we are going through right now. Uh, we are in the process of our 12 week transformation fitness challenge. And if you guys are watching that are in this program, congrats, you guys are killing it and doing amazing. I love seeing the results. It lights up my life. I feel so full of joy when I get to see people completely transform their mindset and their bodies through the programs that we do. So, and I'll explain a little bit about what we do as well later on. But if you have set a new year's resolution this year and you were trying to achieve your goal and you've already feel like you failed or you just stopped trying, I want to talk about why a lot of people do fail because 90% of the people have already failed that have set new year's resolutions. And that just happens every year. So what is a resolution? A resolution means to resolve, to cut off from anything else that uh, you set out to do in order to commit to that specific goal that you have. So there's a difference between a goal and a vision. And so I say the first thing that is the most important is to create a vision, okay? A vision for what you want to achieve. So seeing yourself three months from now, six months from now, whatever your goal is, and the time frame that's realistic for you to achieve it. So a vision is not just where a goal is setting, I want to lose 10 pounds of vanity weight. You know, it's not a compelling vision. You need something that is going to pull you, not push you. Because if you have a vision that is compelling enough and really uh, creates emotion when you think about it and the reasons why you want it, you're going to create change and you're going to create lasting change because it's important to you. So if it's to lose 50 pounds in order to, you know, play with your grandkids or to be able to go for a run with your wife because you haven't been able to make it two blocks, something that's moving and important and inspires you and really gets that emotion behind it. It's going to, to pull you. We don't want to push because pushing is setting something that is not going to be attainable because when you have to push yourself versus something that's going to pull you, it's like willpower, right? So willpower does not last. Willpower, you can push through a lot of things in life, but it's not lasting. You're going to struggle. You're, you're not going to have that deep reason why. So the first thing is creating a vision, creating a vision that's compelling. And then to back that up, the reasons why. Why do you want that? You just need to have a vision for yourself and know your why. So you don't have to know how you're gonna do that. That comes later. Just know your why. Then secondly, your mindset. Mindset is everything. That's what my Believing You Fitness stands for, is believing in you, believing in yourself, knowing that anything you want, you can achieve if you believe it. So think about having a, a goal that you want to achieve, but you don't back it up with your beliefs. So you really don't believe that it's a, achievable for you or you're afraid to achieve it or you just don't believe that it's possible. How much effort are you going to put into that goal or that vision for yourself if you don't believe you can achieve it anyways? You're not. You're going to put in as much as you get in of what you believe is possible. So creating a mindset around that and making sure that your beliefs match uh, your decisions and your goals. So if your beliefs match up with your goals, you can achieve it. Anything is possible. Next, did you have accountability? 
accountability, whether you invest in yourself, you create an accountability partner, you have an accountability tracking system, someone that's checking in on you, you have to be held accountable for your goals. So you need to be able to see them daily. That vision of what you want to achieve, you need to be rechecking in with those every day. You need to be able to see them. So it needs to be trackable. It needs to be presentable in front of you. And you need to have someone else holding you accountable because you can either make it or break it for yourself. We can either be our best ally or our worst enemy. So making sure that you have accountability, that you're investing in those goals and you're investing in that vision of yourself of what you want to achieve. Um, another thing is raising your standards. And I know this is a hard thing to talk about, but when we want something in our life, our bodies, for example, are a reflection of our standards, okay? What are your standards? And it's those little things that we do daily, our rituals, that our, our habits become rituals. And so those rituals can either make or break those goals or those visions for us. So creating daily habits, and it can be the KISS method. I like to keep it simple, sweetie. You know, don't try to overdo it, just start. Start with two to three things that will help you daily habits that are going to help you reach that goal that you've set out for yourself. So if it's drinking a gallon of water a day, make that a goal. If it's going for a 30 minute walk five days a week, make that your goal. If that's something that you can commit to and you know that you believe that you can do it every day and it's a small habit that you are going to prioritize, I promise you, you will go so much farther by just doing small, simple steps that are creating habits that will become rituals and a part of your life. And your body will become a reflection of the rituals that you start every day. I hope this helps. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I just wanted to pop in here and give you a few things uh, that can help you as far as reaching your goals and creating a vision for you so that you can reach lasting change in your health and fitness.